find out when they come out. If not, they'll look very colorful. And M&M's are good for baking, for decorating your baking items. Could you use some peanut M&M too? That would be good. Or any flavor. Well, it's all that bag. Okay, that is so full. Hope it doesn't run over. Just to make sure, I'm going to put it on this pan in case it does run over just a little bit. Okay, so I'll put this in the oven. This is going to have to cook about 15 minutes to an hour, maybe a little more. I'll check it in 30 minutes to see how it's doing, and we'll look at it later. I might mention this banana bread is kind of a sweet dessert. My husband can't really eat any because he's diabetic. But I don't want to leave him out, so I'm going to make him this box of Pillsbury sugar-free cinnamon muffins. I make these often for him. He loves to eat them for breakfast sometimes or a snack. So I will cook this for him as soon as my bananas come out, out of the oven. The banana bread gets done, I'll pop this in the oven. Here's another batch out of the air fryer. The ones in the oven are still cooking, but the ones out of the air fryer are doing just great. They're nice and soft. You see, I'm, I'm squishing it. They're done. They're very done. But they're soft and moist. The top kind of rolls up a little bit to a little peak. They look a little brown because I use brown sugar. Brown sugar will make your muffins look a little bit darker than if you use white sugar. But they taste scrumptious and they're well done and they're perfect. I'm very happy with my air fry muffins. Now, in just a little bit, we'll look at the banana bread that's in the oven and see how it pairs up with this, how it compares. We're back and we're done. I finished both batters. The first batter I mixed up that you saw me mix up, that made about 24 or 25 little mini muffins. They came out so soft and good. Mm. They're nice and moist. They're not too hard and chewy. They're soft and moist, which is what banana bread is supposed to be. And I think what helped a lot was that sour cream. That kept them nice and moist. Mm. Those tips I gave you earlier, I'm going to put them, uh, I'll write them or type them down below in the comments so you can look at them. This is the second batter I made, which I made off camera, but I put it in this loaf pan. And it actually took about 75 minutes to cook. I think because my pan was so full and so thick, it took a little bit longer. And as you can see, this is why I always bake things, put my baking dishes on the pizza pan. Because see, it did run over, which is fine, because that just made me two more pieces of bread to eat. Just, they still taste good. Mm. They're soft. They're moist. You see the little m ms in there? Mm. They taste great. And since it ran on my pan, I don't have to clean the oven. It would have been an awful mess that, if that had run down the oven. That's why I use the pizza pan. And look at this. Oop, that's still a little bit hot almost. Let me put my gloves back on. I'm going to let this cool for about 15 minutes before I cut it. But let's take it out. Look at that. Didn't stick a bit. Came out perfectly. You can see the M&M's melted all through there. That's going to taste so good. You cut into it, got chocolate flavor all through there. I'll let that cool before I cut it. As you can see, it's soft, it's squishy there, it's not hard. Well, those came out very nice. And if my test, and remember I was going to test between which is best, the air fryer or the oven, it's a tie. I can't make up my mind. They're both nice and soft. They both cook well. These cook, took about 23 to 25 minutes for each batch. And I used my little bitty muffin tin here. I had to cook seven at a time, so it took about four batches to use up all that bowl of batter. Which is okay, I like these little mini muffins. I can freeze them. I can freeze the luggage if I need to for later. There's kind of a lot of banana bread right now. I may have to share it with some friends, I think. <laughs> like I said a while ago, my husband can't eat this, it's too sweet for him. So I'm going to fix him this Pillsbury sugar-free muffin mix tonight. I'll do that later tonight for him. Well, that's it for now. We'll call it a wrap. It's been kind of a long video, but I wanted to show 
both ways of cooking banana bread in the oven and in the air fryer. It comes out great either way. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. Like I said, if you don't have the little muffin tin, you could put it in the uh, the cake pan here. This is the little cake pan that they make for the air fryer. You could put it here, have banana bread cake. These do cook a lot faster in the air fryer, but you have to cook smaller batches because the air fryer is smaller. But it doesn't heat up the whole room either, so that's nice in the summertime. Well, that's it. I'll see y'all next week. Leave me some comments down below. If you like this banana bread, you're going to try it. Let me know how it comes out for you. If you have any questions or have any other, if you can think of any recipes you want me to do later, let me know. Don't forget my, about my little book over here. Or your copy for your grandkids or niece and nephews for Christmas coming up. Before you know it, Christmas will be upon us. And if you're interested about next, about Thanksgiving, I still have all my videos from last year, my uh, oh, green bean casserole recipe. It's gotten a lot of views in the last year. Better start looking at it, getting ready for Thanksgiving. It'll be here before you know it in about six weeks. Bye now. See y'all later. God bless everyone.